What's goody guys? What's goody horseless powers? Yep, I'm getting comfortable saying that now, calling you guys horseless powers. But um, I just wanted to hop on here real quick and make this little message or whatever for this little video. Um, about mental health. Y'all already know what my channel's about. Come on now. <laughs> but I want to talk about depression. Depression. So I want to start making videos as well, not just like music. So the reason why I make music, like I said, it's to help people like me. People that are going through depression, bipolar, anxiety, suicide thoughts, mental health in general, um, problems, issues, struggles, financial issues, um, being, living in the streets, being homeless, not having no job, shit like that. Well, I want to talk about how I want to start like... I want to. St I hope that. W I hope that eventually I get like recogn recognition. Recognition, if that's the right word, to um. To start to start getting a fan base or, not a fan base, but like people that I can start supporting more and people that that. That I feel like I I help and benefit from this, because this channel is not this channel. Once it starts becoming bigger, it's not just gonna become. It's not just gonna be like about me no this channel is about a community of people like me a community of people that struggle so i want to start being like a like i said in my songs like i say in a few of my songs or most of my songs i want to be like the voice for the future and it's true i really do and reason is because i don't feel like a person one person should just make it to the top i don't believe that one person should just succeed i don't believe one person a one person should just just like that's it like oh it's just that's it like only few few certain people are chosen and then no i feel like everybody's chosen we just some people just don't know how to seek for that potential that they have or that power they they can unlock we all have powers and i'm not talking like superpowers like fucking x-men or fucking dragon ball z or fucking you know what i mean but i'm saying like superpowers like being able to push through pain being able to overcome things being able to do a lot of things um but once I start getting recognition, um, my goal is to become a motivational, a professional motivational um, speaker. Um, about, yeah, a professional motivational mental health speaker. There we go. Um, cause I want to start. I want to start. I want to start helping people. I want to, cause I feel like a lot of people in the area that don't help a lot of a, a lot of a, like people like us is suicide, and. I don't find that shit fair. I don't. I don't believe that you should. I'm not against it because I've done it myself. I've done it fucking nine times. It's not fucking pretty. Once you fucking attempt suicide and you overcome that and you survive it, you're there now because now you're f ten times more fucked in the head because now you have these fucking images in your head of like, damn, I did that shit and nobody was really around to fucking save me. Um. So I know how what's it like. So I wanna I wanna try to help prevent people from doing that. I wanna try to help people. I wanna try to touch as many souls as I can, so they won't end up doing things they'll end up regretting. Cause trust me, committing suicide is just I forget what it's called. That like suicide is just a t uh, a permanent a permanent solution to a temporary solution. Something like that. I don't know how it goes. All right, don't judge me, but. Um, talking about depression though, um, man, for the, if, if anybody that watches this that like doesn't deal with depression, look, you got to understand, you can't just be hard on the person that deals with it. You can't just expect them to push themselves and go, it's like if they're not working, they're not doing anything with their life, they're not pushing themselves, they're not taking care of themselves, they're not showering, they're not brushing their teeth, they're not changing their, their, their clothes or whatever. They're not... They're not eating or they're overeating. Instead of you sitting there and judging them and not understanding them, try to take the time. Try to go out of your way to take the time to understand. And if you can't, do some research. Do some research. Don't just sit there and go to another person and be like, yo, you know, you know, fucking Jorge, I don't know, <laughs> um, is dealing with depression. 
And then the, both of them started criticizing fucking Jorge. Like, don't criticize Jorge. Jorge, he's probably going through a lot of shit that you don't even understand or didn't even know about or can't even understand. So instead of doing that, try to help the person. Because judging somebody's not going to... Yo, are you really going to feel proud of yourself when you find out that the person killed himself? I don't think you really are. You got to try to help a person out. You got to reach out to people... If they don't reach out to you, it's not because they don't want to. People that deal with depression just can't, just, they just have a hard time reaching out. Shit, I was like that at some point. And I'm kind of going through that again, but I'm trying to not let myself go through that. The problem is, like I said in my other video, we live in a society where people just want us to keep a shush. They don't want us to be woke. They don't want us to express how we feel. They don't want us to get out of this. But I don't know what's going on. I feel like. I feel like mental health and depression and bipolar and anxiety is just becoming like a trend now. Where people think it's cool to be depressed. Where people think it's cool to have bipolar. Where people think it's cool to be anxious and whatnot. Where people think it's cool to um, be suicidal and shit. It's not cool. It's not. If there's people out here making music about it. If there's people that like really, really dedicate their time to it and like really focus on like people like us. They're not doing it because of tension or seeking attention or being a clout chaser or whatever. They're doing it because they want to they wanna try to help as many people as they can. That's what I'm trying to do as well. I'm trying to help as many people as I can. I'm not doing it because I'm doing it for myself and for others. I'm not doing it for the money. And if I am doing it for the money, it's because I want to fucking give that shit once. If I ever became a millionaire or a billionaire, bro, best believe... I'm not going to fucking just keep that money to myself. I'm giving it to my family. I'm giving it to the friends. I'm giving it to the main people that need it. I'm giving it to the homeless people. I'm giving it to single mothers that don't have a father. That their father's... The baby daddy left the mother and shit. I'm trying to help people that are actually in need of help. I'm trying to, I'm trying to motivate others. I'm trying to push others. Because we live in a generation in a day and age where people don't come knocking on your door and be like, Yo, you good? Let me grab onto my hand and I'll rescue you. Grab onto my hand and I'll save you. Grab onto my shoulder and, and I'll carry you. No, 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 most people won't. Most people will just leave you behind. Most people will set you up to fail. Most people will set you up to fail and don't even want don't even want to see you smile, don't even want to see you happy, don't even want to see you see you succeed. And then if they do, they get jealous when you start to succeed and they'll be then mad angry. Like it's like, why are you angry? Use that as motivation. If you've seen a person get up on their feet, use that as motivation. Be like, yo, if they did it, I could do 10 times more than that. I'm not saying it in an ego way like, oh, do it in a mentality of like, oh, I'm going to be better than them. No, just imagine, your, just imagine yourself like them, but, but as yourself doing something much bigger. Because we all have, we all can impact the world in such a positive way. We can, we all have the power to change the world with technology, with with food, with careers, with businesses, with with the ocean, with nature, with the world. We can do we can make a bigger impact than what these phony people, what these freaking horrible people are doing to this planet. Fucking taking trees down, building more building more um factories and shit that are not good for the environment. Building so much things that it's just like, nah. But I'm getting off track. <laughs> My point is for those that are dealing with really bad depression right now and you're feeling alone and you feel like you don't have anybody, yo, I want to let you know that you're not alone. I'm here. You can message me on here. I think on um, my other video, I put my Instagram up. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. I don't really have used my Facebook like that. I mean, I've used it only for messages, but like if you really, really want to, you can message me and shit. And my my Instagram has my Facebook on there, so you can find my, my Facebook and shit. But... Yo, if you really need someone to talk to and shit, reach out. Reach out to me. I'm not going to judge you. I'm actually, like, honestly, yo, I'm not going to be here and sit. I'm not going to sit here and judge you and criticize you and be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. No, I can't because I'm nobody. I'm not even perfect to even judge you or criticize you. I'm no one to cr judge you or criticize you. All I could do is try to give you advice, hear you out, hear you vent, and try to give you the best advice that I can and try to uplift you and keep you going. That's all I can do. That's why I do these musics. That's why I'm starting to do these videos. Because I want people to feel like they're not alone. I don't want people to fucking start killing. I don't want to. I don't want people. I don't want more people to start killing themselves. More and more and more and more and more and more. Dude, we have. This year itself, suicide has increased majorly than the past years. That is not good. That is not good at all. 
So, dealing with depression is not easy. Trust me, it's not. If you're going through a struggle right now with financial problems, with getting evicted from your house, or barely could push yourself to go outside, or barely could push yourself to be around family or friends or anything, or barely can enjoy what you used to love and shit, or barely, barely can do anything. You just pretty much can't do anything. Don't feel bad. Don't beat yourself up. Don't think that this is the end. Don't think that this is the this is your this is the end of your journey. Your journey is about to continue. The thing is, you have to you have to seek for help. You have to seek for what helps you. You have to find yourself. You have to take care of yourself inside. It's not about what. It's not about your skin. It's not. It's not about what the flesh wants. It's not. It's not about oh, I, I need money. I need this. Look, because look, we can all be successful right now if we wanted to. If God wanted us to, if God really wanted, really wanted to bless us, He could give us the whole world. Everybody could be successful. The reason why many people like us are not successful and shit is because we have to go through the struggle and we have to love ourselves and we have to find ourselves in order to be happy. We can't just end up like these people that make it to the top and are depressed. You know how many famous people or rich people or billionaires or whatever are up in the top, and you know how depressed they are. You know how many famous people have taken their life away because of, of that? Money doesn't bring happiness. If anything, money just makes you more miserable because even because you're trying to you're trying to use the money by using drugs, by um, by buying material things, by traveling the world, by uh, all these things. That's great and all, but if you're not happy within yourself, deep down with yourself, if you're not spiritually good, if you're not mentally good, if your heart is not good, if you have so much resentment, hate. And, and damage and everything, you're never gonna be happy. That's why you have to go through the struggle because from the struggle, it's gonna better you. It's gonna teach you more. It's gonna make you value your life more. It's gonna make you see the world differently. You you need a you come here to to spread love and positivity, but the world converts it into negativity. The devil wants to destroy all of us. Why do you think the devil chooses the the the, the special ones? Why do you think? People like us that don't fit in, that don't really like going out, that don't have a lot of friends, that when we, we go out with friends, they don't really include us because they make us a third wheel because of them hanging out with another person. And then that other person and them are bonding more than what you're bonding with them to or whoever you're with. Dude, don't look. Don't feel bad if you don't even have anybody anyways. It's a good thing. Matter of fact, nowadays, there's so much fake people. It's hard to find genuine people. It's hard to fit in. It's hard. It's hard. But if you don't find anybody, you can't really fit in and shit, and you're single and all this shit, that's not a bad thing. It just means you're a chosen one, and that means that you can, you can, you can, you don't have to depend on anybody but yourself. Look, look at it like this, guys. Look at it like this. When you hit rock bottom, you have two options. This is what I've been learning lately. When you hit rock bottom, you have two options. Options. You can give up and throw the towel away, which is the easiest thing. It's the easiest thing. But let me tell you something. What if if you were to kill yourself, there isn't peace? What if if you were to kill yourself, things don't get better? What if I told you you have to face what you did? You have to face the pain that you left behind. Because now you're dealing with yourself and you're dealing with the other people. That are missing you, that care about you, that love you, that ha that you had a in big em impact on them. Now you're gonna have to, and the thing is, I've been learning another thing too. Most people, or a lot of us, we all have a lot of like we all have. We were put on this planet for a big purpose. If you're out here going through many struggles, I'm not talking about the people that are not struggling. I'm not talking about the people that don't deal with mental health. I'm not talking about the people that, sh that, that like just feel clogged up in the head and always feel sad and lonely and miserable. And no matter what they do and no matter what they accomplish or no matter who they hang out with or whatever, whatever, whatever. They just, they just can't seem to be happy. They can't seem to feel free. Let me tell you something. Suicide is not going to save anything. Because... You were supposed to find yourself. You were supposed to conquer your dreams. You were supposed to put an end to this to this depression and everything. Look. When you decide to really when you're at the rock bottom, there's no way to go. You can keep digging down. You're just going to keep sinking more. But let me tell you, the more that you sink, 
the better you're gonna rise. The more sunnier it's gonna be. Like the sun. Look. When you decide to get yourself back up and, and bring yourself up, it's like going to the junkyard. And if you're like a mechanic, or you're starting to learn about cars and you want to know how a car fully works from the ground up all the way to the top. So, you go to the junkyard, you find a shell of a car. The shell of the car is shitty. It's just the chassis of the car that's good. You build, a cha you build that chassis up and then you go on from there. What does that have to do with us? Well, when you build a car from the ground up and you replace all the horrible parts and you replace it with new good parts and powerful parts and potential parts, you can build that car up to whatever you want and the power that it has compared to the power it did have when you found it at the junkyard is it can't be compared. That's where the name horseless power comes in because the power that my motor has right now is not going to be the same in a couple of months, in a couple of weeks, or in a couple of years. Because I'm deciding to make the difference. Because I can't give up. There's people like me that are... I know there's going to be eventually people like me that are going to rely on me. Which is not a bad thing. I just have a big purpose. I can't just give up on people. I got to show people that, hey, no matter where you come from, no matter what circumstances or situations you're in, that don't let that define who you are. Don't let that define your whole life. Don't let that define your whole career. Don't let that define your mentality. Don't let that define anything because that's not you. Because in a couple months or in a couple weeks or in a couple years, you can become time, 10 times better than that. You just have to crumble that pain. You just have to continue to keep on going. Every step is a step to progress. Every step that you take is to go on further to succeed and evolve into the person you want. When you fall, it's not you falling because you failed. Failure is not a bad thing. Failure is a good thing because without failure, you wouldn't learn who you wouldn't learn anything. You wouldn't evolve. You wouldn't have the knowledge. You wouldn't have wisdom. You wouldn't have the strength. You wouldn't be mentally strong. You wouldn't you wouldn't learn the things that you know now. You wouldn't learn how people are. You wouldn't learn yourself. You wouldn't learn anything. So what does that? What does the the the, the finding a broken car at the at the at the junkyard have to do with us? Well, when you build your when you're at rock bottom, what's the only thing that what's the two things that you can do? Give up or keep on climbing. So what you do is when you're in the dark and there's no light, there's no people, there's nothing. You can't rely on anybody. You have to use your imaginations in the dark. If you can't let the negativity go, if you can't let those demons go, then you have to figure your way out how to fight those demons. You have to figure out how to build yourself up. You have to figure out how to evolve. You have to figure out how to get back up. You have the potential and you have the strength to get back up. Even if you think that you can't, even if you, you're on the floor crawling and you don't have the strength to get back up because you know how life is going to beat you down each time you get back up. Well, as, the, as you get back up and you fight back at what is throwing at your way, it's going to get better. It's going to evolve you. It's going to push you. Because as you fall, you're eventually going to come to a point where you're going to just, you're going to become a monster. You're going to become a beast. It's like when you're in the gym and you use all your anger and you're just letting all that shit out on the weights and shit. You're going to become a beast in life. And when you become a beast in life, nothing can stop you. Nothing can get in your way. Because you've been through so much shit. Nobody or nothing can bring you down because you've been at the worst of the worst. So now that you're evolving and you're starting to grow and you're starting to become the person that you're going to become, you're going to have a better chance at, at figuring shit out for yourself. You're going to have a better chance at relying on yourself. You're going to have a better chance at impacting on other people. And if we start impacting more people, the more we do that, the more positivity we're going to start spreading and the more we're going to eliminate negativity and the more we're going to overcome mental health. Is it going to be easy? No. This journey was never easy. Life was never supposed to be easy. Nothing in this world was supposed to be easy, unfortunately. But if everything was easy, we would never we would never grow. We would never learn. We would just live a boring, happy life. Yeah, is it good to be happy? Yeah. But you also want your life to be spiced up with different things. You also want to challenge yourself because if you don't challenge yourself, you're never going to grow out of your comfort zone. You're never going to grow into the person you need to become. It's like a dead rose. That if you start giving it the sunlight, the, the good, the, the everything that it needs, and you start giving it the water that it needs, and you start taking care of it, that rose eventually is going to start growing with the beautiful colors and everything that it, everything that is disgusting and toxic on that rose is going to start fading away and it's going to start evolving into something clean. That's how you are. You have to plant that seed in yourself and you have to manifest what you want. 
guys, I just want to say, don't give up, man. Don't give up. It really breaks my heart when... When people take their life away, man. It's... Tears. Ugh. It's... It's tough, guys. It, it, it's tough. I, I, I get it. Attempted suicide nine times was not something I ever imagined myself. Going through depression, bipolar, and anxiety is not... It's not something I ever imagined. All the shit that I went through with family, friends, and all the shit. It's not... It's not, it's not something I, I thought. And then hearing other people go through it too. And then hearing other people like taking their life away. And then they, they passed away or they survived it. I'm all like, damn, like. That's why now, even though I'm not good. But I'm, I'm, I'm learning. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to take care of myself. I'm trying to take care of myself. I'm trying to take care of myself. So I can help you guys. Cause I know there's, there, I know not everybody in this channel is watching, but I know for the most part there's few people that watch this. I know there's few people that I impact, and if I'm even impacting a few people, then so be it. At least I'm doing something than nothing. At least I'm trying to make a movement. Cause I know this movement is gonna start becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. I know it. I envision it. I feel it. I feel it in my heart that we're gonna start rising. Guys, don't give up. It gets better. It might not get better tomorrow, it might not get better next week, it might not get better next month, it might not get better next year. It might take three years, it might take four years, it might take five years, it might take seven years, it might take ten years. I don't know, everybody's different. Every, everybody's progression, everybody's success, everybody's mentality, everybody, everybody's growth is different. Everybody, dif everybody reacts different. But you can't give up, man. You can't give up. Even if you feel like nobody cares about you because you feel like people around you don't show that affection or love or care. Some just probably don't get it. Some probably just don't know how to help. Yes, there's people that don't care. Yes, there's people that judge us or criticize us or misunderstand us. And that puts us in a funk because that makes us feel worse. But don't feel like you're alone. There's people like us out in this world. Keep going, guys. I just wanted to come on here and say this. I don't know, I woke up today was like with the idea as the day went by. I was like, yo, I should make a video or something. I don't know, like something in my heart or something was I don't know. Lately I've been feeling something funny, yo. I've been feeling like something like death wise, something is happening. Either I'm getting a vibe from the the world or from energy or something of somebody or somebody I know or somebody close to me or I don't know. I don't know. But if you're that type that's going through that right now, I hope you watch through the whole video I know it's 23 minutes long I know but I'd rather you hear me out and I hope these words encourage you because something told me to make this video something told me to post this and maybe someone's gonna bump into this tomorrow or the next week or next month or next year or something and this video is gonna prevent them they're probably gonna be close to fucking committing suicide if you're the one that's gonna be close to committing suicide and you, you bumped into this video. I hope that I changed your mind. I hope that I stopped you. Because you can do better. You can do better. You're not your depression. You're not your bipolar. You're not your anxiety. Is it real? Yes. Is it affecting you? Yes. But you can overcome that. It's just... I, I call them demons. It's what the devil throws at you. The devil isn't the devil doesn't even need to present himself. The devil already presented himself and when he presented himself, he started getting to know you like the palm of your hand. He started realizing, "Okay, so this is the strategy he does. Oh, this is what he does. Oh, this is what he views." Eventually, the things that you cope with that are healthy or not healthy, eventually the devil starts to find out what is it? What is this? What is that? What is the positivity? What is the negativity? Hmm, I don't like the positivity. Hmm, let me stop the positivity so he won't start doing that. Or she won't stop, or she won't continue to do that. 
Hmm, negativity? Let me bring that more to them so they can feel like that's going to help them more or make them convinced that, oh, you know what? Why do you think people start smoking and drinking and, and know the shit or popping pills or um, drinking lean and shit? They think that it helps them, but it's the devil thinking, it's the devil putting that in their head by throwing the demons at them. So the devil causes causes us to have addictions because we can't seem to find anybody. That's the other thing too. The devil puts other people in our in this planet to not allow us to understand us or not allow us to speak or not allow allow us to express how we feel so we cannot so we can end up killing ourselves because he knows that something big is happening the devil doesn't want nothing good to go on this 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 planet that we're living in this matrix or whatever this is part of the devil this is the devil's world this is hell that's what I'm saying, don't give up. The devil's just manipulating us, thinking that we gotta give up. The devil wants us, to, that when we see the news, when we hear all this horrible shit that's going on around the world, it's just to put fear in us. It's just to make us, just to make us scared and, and, and like, lose faith and lose hope and not look at the bright side of things. When we can look at the bright side of things, we can make an impact. If we all overcome this and we all make an impact for the world, we can make something much better. We can change the world for the better and not allow the bad to win, not allow the negativity to win, guys. Keep going, guys. But that's all I got to say. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do these videos every day or it's going to be every week or I don't know. Or like I did it today and then I wait two more days or three more days and I hop on it again. I don't know. Or it might just be whenever I feel like I have something to really say. Because I can't just always get on here and just speak my mind. Because I'm not always going to know what to say. I'm not always going to have the words of encouragement and all this. There's going to be certain times that I might. And then there's going to be times where I might not. But I'm just here to help, guys. And I hope this helps. I hope this helps you. I hope that if you're going, if you're the one that's going through a lot... Trust me, I've been going through a lot. I went through a lot. Still going through it. Don't give up, man. Don't give up. Keep your head up, guys. Keep going. Keep fighting. Stay strong. Stay firm. If you guys need to talk to me, message me or something, I'm there. Text away. Instagram, on here. Facebook, Talk Life. Whatever you guys want. Take care, guys.